Hey guys, it's NK Cubed, and today I'm going to show you two never-before-seen puzzles. Well, as long as you didn't look at the thumbnail. So, the first puzzle I made is a variant of the 1x2x3, because I just love that puzzle. If you look at the other puzzles which I made, the only other one that's listed on Toasty Puzzles is a split 1x2x3. Um, and so, I've always liked that puzzle, and recently, or not that recently, but sort of recently, I saw a video showing a sliding 1x2x3, and I was like, wow, that's so cool! But as you can see, the video is really, like, sketchy, and I couldn't really figure out the mechanism. So, I decided to uh, try to come up with the mechanism myself, and this is what I came up with. Um, the puzzle is really big. I happen to have 3x3 three three over here, and the height of it is equal to, like, the, these two blocks, cubies, is equal to the height of a regular 3x3. Three three. So it's really pretty large puzzle. Um, the reason I printed it so large was because I couldn't print it at smaller things, because I made the parts, the internal parts, way too small. And that was a mistake. But hopefully I won't do that again. Um, uh, the puzzle works like a normal 1x2x3. One, uh, one two three. You can turn it like that, like that. But it also can do these sliding moves. It can go like that and switch those two pieces, those two pieces, slide it back up. Then you can keep on doing the regular move. It solves uh, relatively similar to a 1x2x3 two three, except sometimes you have to switch uh, parts like, uh, you have to switch like these two. And if you need to do that, you basically switch this, and then slide down, switch these two, slide up, and then switch these two. But other than that, it's pretty simple to solve. It took me a while to get it at first, but now it's pretty easy. If you want to make your own of these puzzles, you can click the link in the description, uh, look at the Thingiverse file. In case you're wondering, I'm going to make videos on each of these puzzles individually, uh, just so I can put it uh, under in the description of the Thingiverse files. So, next puzzle is the mirror or bump square one. Now this puzzle is something which I I just noticed that it was missing on Twisty Puzzles, and, and uh, I looked up to see if anybody had made it. Uh, it actually turns out that somebody made uh, mirror square one, but that puzzle it isn't really a mirror square one, because it's only mirrored on the top and bottom layer. These layers are not mirrored. Um, I wish I could show it to you solved, because it looks really nice. Uh, it, of course, looks like a cube when it's solved, but I don't really know how to solve a square one yet. And also, even if I did know how to solve a square one, I'm not sure if I'd be able to solve the mirrored version. Just a tad bit harder. This puzzle is way better, in my mind at least, than this one, which is all loose. Uh, a couple have a couple problems with it where pieces can turn out like this. I have little knobs there in case you didn't see uh, to prevent that from happening but if you try really hard you can still take pieces out like that and another thing that I didn't notice is that if you turn it like this you can take pieces out here really easily and even when you have it where it would regularly be or where it usually is it's still like you can get pieces out. So. This puzzle is way more stable. Um, the turning isn't too good because it catches a ton. Um, let me see if I can get it started. There you go. But once you get it started, it feels really smooth. Um, and these layers are really, 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 really... Like, look at that. Ooh, yeah. Probably a little bit too loose. But I like it like that. So these are the two puzzles. I'll try to have links to the two videos which I'm going to make specifically on each puzzle, uh, which will sort of explain the design process, how it came by it, and how to assemble the puzzles. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, because I forgot to tell you how to do that in the previous video. And... Uh, cut. out.